there are so many jobs in quantum computing that people simply just don't know exist. So if you don't know me, my name is Ari. I'm a quantum hardware engineer at IBM Quantum, and I work on scaling qubit control electronics so that one day we can actually build a you know actually useful quantum computer. Um, and so one quantum job that I want to talk about today is what's called quantum computing deployment. And I think, honestly, it's going to be a very important job going forward into the future as we look more towards uh, actually building a quantum computer that is large-scale fault-tolerant and useful. And so if you want to develop a quantum computer and you want to eventually sell it to a customer or sell it to people and researchers who want to use it or eventually put it on a customer's actual site, you need people to take that quantum computer and then build it physically at that site and then get it running, test it, calibrate it, make sure it's working, right? And so that's ultimately what deployment is. So this video that IBM released here is basically like a lab tour um, of where we kind of test and screen out our quantum processors. I'm not going to say too much about what's going on here. I'll let the video speak for itself because I don't want to get in trouble for saying something I'm not supposed to. <laughs> but uh, basically what you're seeing here is my colleague Daniela and Jerry basically setting up this fridge in order to kind of do research on the novel devices and quantum processors that we have before we then and go put it on the cloud for people to use or then put it off premises like at a customer site. Okay, so what is like the roadmap of quantum deployment and what does it actually look like? Okay, so step one, when you actually want to like build a quantum computer, is you kind of have to have the design, right? So you go through like the initial kind of research integration phase, meaning we have all these ideas about, let's say, um, we have all these ideas about, you know, what's here in the quantum processor, and like we have ideas about how this cabling right here is supposed to work, right? And then we don't know if it's going to work. So we have to integrate it all into one quantum computer, some research quantum computer, some research system. We need to put the, uh, let's see here, put the cans on, right? See what they're doing here? They're putting the cans on. We need to cool it down, and then you need to start measuring it. And that's what's going on in this picture here. I'll see if I can find it in the video. Yeah, so what Daniela is doing is she's measuring the coherence time of this processor, right? And so step one is actually like building it, integrating it, doing kind of the basic test. Step two is then kind of doing the refinement of the design, learning what learning what we learned from our mistakes and, you know, building this first one, iterating on the processor design, for example, and that's generally done by, you know, scientists and, and engineers on kind of the research side. And then from there, we go to, well, once we kind of figure out all the issues, we then go to basically deploying it, so to speak, building another one that's very similar to the one that you see here, um, except now that this one is built by a different team, and that's maybe hosted in a different site or in a different lab, but the whole purpose of this one is to be available on the cloud for literally anyone in the world to use. And this is not just an IBM thing. This is also like a Continuum thing, and a bunch of other companies have their quantum computers available on the cloud to use, right? So we started with this research system here, and then as it got measured, we developed it into something that we felt comfortable enough to put on the cloud for people to use. Okay, great. Now, the next step is deploying it to a customer site. And you've probably seen some of the news here. This is Cleveland Clinic and their quantum computer in their cafeteria. <laughs> and then Recon also just got an IBM quantum system too, very recently. And so both of these kind of internal system deployments for cloud access and external deployment at a client site are done by deployment engineers, scientists, and technicians. And I kind of make the technician distinction there too because um, a technician is generally somebody who has a high school diploma and then maybe like an associate's degree, but it's not necessarily you know, mandatory. We actually work with somebody who's honestly one of my favorite people at IBM and he, quote unquote, only has a... Uh, high school diploma, but he's here building quantum computers literally every day, and I don't know what we would do without him. Um, so long story short, there's an entire job of people that are just to build quantum computers physically, like literally like build this thing, 
Like, screw everything in and test it. And then there's a team of people who's dedicated to just calibrating the devices to make sure that they have low two-qubit error rates, And for example. Um, there's people who write the software for this really nice dashboard, right? So there's all these kind of jobs associated with deploying a quantum computer on the cloud, deploying it at a customer site that are both on the hardware and software end. And it doesn't have to just be superconducting quantum computers. You know, it can be neutral atom quantum computers or trapped ion quantum computers. Specifically, Continuum is looking to start deploying some of their physical systems. So this is a job that's live right now on Continuum that they want to deploy their Helio systems for their hardware as a service business. Basically meaning that they're going to take their Helios quantum computer and then go and deploy it at customer sites and customer labs all around the world. And so basically what they want in a candidate is just somebody who I guess they have three kind of backgrounds here that they would like. Somebody with deep physics knowledge who has done trapped ion quantum computing or somebody who has worked with laser and optical systems for like maybe aligned optics or fiber coupled, right? Again, so this is, if this is for, you know, neutral atoms or trapped ions, you're working with these crazy optical systems versus in superconducting quantum computers, you kind of have this dilution refrigerator and all this wiring. And then the next one is like, Hardware software interfacing, lab networking, using VNAs and oscilloscope, just like kind of getting in the lab. You know how to do Linux and Git and kind of S how to SSH into something and then using the kind of the qubit control electronics, right? So there are tons of opportunities out there for somebody to kind of get on a deployment team to basically just help build physically these quantum computers calibrate them, set them up, maintain them, get them on the network, make sure people can use them, right? These are all incredibly important jobs. And honestly, one of the most important jobs, like of course, the research is very important. I do the research, right? But I'm also helping a lot on deployment because I know that we need to get quantum computers in the hands of people who are actually going to use them and stress test them and revolutionize the world of science by using them, right? And so that's why I think deployment is incredibly important. And it's also a very great career path for somebody who doesn't want to get a PhD or somebody who may be coming from another industry or somebody who has skill set in another area of engineering or software, they can very quickly apply their skills to quantum computing deployment without a lot of extra overhead. A lot of the guys that we have working on our quantum computing deployment, for example, came from other areas outside of quantum. But we just need people who are great at getting things done, getting in the lab, troubleshooting, building. And that's exactly the type of people that we bring on to at least IBM's deployment team. So this is just a career that I want you all to kind of keep in the back of your mind. If you want to be somebody who just like builds quantum computers, that could be a potential roadmap for you. And I know it's really hard to define your own personal roadmap in quantum computing. So if you want help defining your personal roadmap, how you can become a quantum deployment engineer, how you can become a quantum engineer in general, click the top link in the description. I have built what I'm calling the quantum engineering lab. And that is the go-to place for if you want to build a career in quantum engineering, I give you my own personal mentorship help and you also get access to like an amazing network of other aspiring quantum engineers who are incredibly dedicated to becoming a quantum engineer and developing their career in quantum computing. So if you wanna take that first step in developing your career as a quantum engineer, click the top link in the description. Do good work everyone. I will see you in the next video, goodbye.